Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today you will realize something new. It's a brand new uh, studio. And for some of uh, for some of you you've already seen uh, one take in this studio that was the the Ralphie parody. And uh, that was before I finished the studio, but I, I needed a different place. Um, and this was just the perfect place to do this. So um, today I'm not gonna try whiskey. I'm just gonna show you a bit behind the scenes and how the studio is made. And um, uh, actually I learned quite a bit about making a studio and um, about making a, a setting for yeah uh, video tasting. So um, I will start at the beginning. What you need is uh, a location, a location to present the person and the product. So um, obviously I need a stool and I got myself this, uh, this cupboard and this table. And um, I got this from a house that was uh, destined to be raised down. So I actually rescued these old furnitures and uh, the table, we just uh, sanded down and uh, applied a new um, not non-reflecting um, uh, lacquer and on the on the back we also uh, sanded it a bit down and also put the lacquer on because we didn't want to have that much reflection and um, that is important for the second thing you need and oh wait my other utility is the cask i got the cask from uh, the Slurs distillery, which is a distillery nearby in Bavaria, which does the good single malt whiskey. So um, it has written Slurs on it. There was a bit left in the cask and actually was really tasty to have it directly from the cask. So um, the next utility, um, why we applied the non-reflective um, lacquer on it was the lighting. And the lighting is very important. Um, you have um, to have lighting to get a, a good person, uh, a good good setting out. So I got myself these soft boxes, and the soft boxes are, I think, about 100, uh, 135 watts. And um, inside these soft boxes, you have energy saving light bulbs. And what is really important is um, you have four of them here. And what is really important is you have to have all your lighting in the same color if you want if you don't want to play with the lighting like they do uh, on the film set where you have like the sunrise on the one side and dark on the other side like but in this setting it's not about the lighting about the mood it's just uh, to get a good lighting in so all of them have the same uh, color temperature and we can then set the color temperature on the camera so we get a natural uh, look in the videos. Actually, we have here another lighting, which is um, very old and they have a, a really old socket. Don't know where it's from, maybe an old German standard. And um, I didn't get any bulbs for that that have uh, the same color temperature as the, the lighting from the front. So I can't use that. Otherwise, it would look really, really strange and really creepy. So um, but you can still see the bottles pretty clearly, so I think I don't need the lighting. Maybe I'll find them someday later. Um, the second thing what you need then is after you have uh, a scenery to present which has uh, enough light is a camera. And I actually, we got ourselves uh, a new camera, which is the new Panasonic HCX1000. Um, we actually worked, I actually worked with uh, a lot of, um, with a, a consumer camera, which was like on the top consumer um, level. And now I got myself into the prosumer range. So this has um, more, much more buttons where you can adjust stuff manually. You have um, partially um, auto stuff so you can say oh, I'm, I'm just regulating um, the uh, the ND filters and other stuff and this will be very useful when you use it uh, in situations that I couldn't handle before the situations that I really had troubles were um, trouble were the ones where you had lighting 
from the other side and you wanted to show let's say a pot still in front of a big uh, glass window like in, on Kalilla and you had the sound of Kalilla in the back and then you had the um, the um, the pot still in the front and you couldn't show it because otherwise you would have had the black pot still totally black or you couldn't see the the sound of uh, the water in the back so this will be a bit easier with this camera because you can uh, just adjust things better it's a 4k camera so um, we're gonna have a look if we can do the new videos in 4k if you're gonna upgrade you might as well do it in 4k um, what it was one of the most important things were the XLR recording I can't take them out because we're recording right now um, and the XLR is what's important for the second thing in the video and that is um, the microphones. The microphones uh, are very important for a good and clear sound and I did um, a bit of uh, yeah, research and I had a look um, how can you do it. You can do it with a, a normal microphone stand which is uh, pretty easy to get a good sound but in the end I um, was looking for a sound where you didn't have the microphone in the picture so I got myself the Rode NTG2 which I think is a Danish or Swedish company I think a Danish um, somewhere from the north and um, the cool thing about this here today is that you have stereo sound so when I go to the left you will hear it more in your left ear and when I go more to the right you will hear me in the right ear Ah, other way around. For you, it's the other way around. So, um, the um, this was the the sound, and for the sound, I had the most troubles. It's easy for for a mechanical engineer. You you have the optics uh, in the in the uh, in, at the university, so you know ah uh, you have to have enough light, and that was pretty easy. You just attach it to the to the ceiling and get the lighting, but. Um, what I didn't expect was how hard it is to to make a good sound quality because um, uh, of the of the echo effect. We have here a lot of um, reflective area where the sound that I speak can reflect off and um, create an echo sound. So what I had to do was to get a, a carpet floor um, that actually takes out uh, most of the echo. So it's a fluffy carpet floor. And the other things were that um, I took out this glass wall here because glass is very, uh, very flat, um, not rough, but very smooth surface, so it reflects very well. And the other things were all the, the walls. And the walls, um, I applied these um, um, yeah, sound um, consuming material to it. And that's actually pretty easy. You have a, a spray glue, you spray it on and attach it to the wall. And um, I, I put it pretty much everywhere where we found any echo. You can just uh, uh, talk in different directions and we did sound tests. Uh, and what we found out was that um, the windows like this one over there was very problematic because um, you had also a very good reflection of the smooth glass. So what I did is I just applied two screws to the, to the, to the wall, then I put a string up and uh, just took uh, some of the blankets I just found and, and put them up so I get a really good sound. So maybe in the future I will replace them with uh, normal curtains, uh, but a quick and dirty methods and uh, a very good methods are these very fluffy, very uh, nice touchy feely uh, blankets to put up. So um, now you can't really um, have the same feeling like when you stand live in this room. This room here is very, very, um, very, very echo. It, it's missing the echo. It's almost like standing on a field where you don't have any echo at all. So um, the last thing here, why I actually uh, did it was um, that we have more room. This is a, a studio that is actually a bit bigger. Um, the kitchen where I uh, took all the cooking videos, which I want to take up in the summer again as well, um, was good, but it's just not a, a tasting environment where you can do the, the tastings uh, on such a professional basis as Horst put up over the years. So um, here 
we can actually put this uh, chair a bit to the side, take another chair in and have a video with two people in it and have a conversation or do a comparison, do a discussion like what, what we did with the bourbon and the scotch. And um, this will be uh, some things that we might do in the future. So this was the studio. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video, then please feel free to share it with your friends. Thank you.